welcome back to Kiki's Fun Animal Countdown. Today, we're gonna showcase five awesome facts about five autumn animals. And because it's November, here in the United States, we're about to celebrate Thanksgiving. But Thanksgiving isn't just celebrated here in the old US of A, it's also celebrated in places like Canada, Granada, St. Lucia, Liberia, and even some parts of Australia, the Netherlands, and Puerto Rico as well. Thanksgiving is a day where we come together and celebrate the friends and family that we have by eating good food, laughing at great memories, and even cherishing the ones that we have. So let's sit back, relax with some good old mashed potatoes, and we're gonna learn about five awesome facts about five autumn animals. So come on in. Number five. Our number five spot is for the ducks. Ducks are a common name for birds that are in the waterfowl family, Anatidae. The lifespan of a common duck is between five to 15 years. So let's make a splash with our ducky friends. Ducks have webbed feet. Now those webbed feet actually help them push the water behind them so that way they can propel themselves forward. As you can see that some, um, some of my friends are doing here. But what's cool is that as you can tell, it's very cold out here. So how in the world are ducks able to stand the freezing temperatures of water by sticking those bare feet into the, into the murky water? Well, according to some sources like askanaturalist.com, ducks, as well as many other birds, have a countercurrent heat exchange system between the arteries and veins in their legs. Warm arterial blood flowing to the feet passes close to cold venous blood returning from the feet. The arterial blood warms up the venous blood, dropping in temperature as it does so. The duck's feet are actually able to withstand the cold. I guess the cold doesn't bother them anyway. Most male ducks are actually the quiet ones. It's the females that are doing all the quack, 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 quack. Instead, males will actually give off grunts, squeaks, chirps, and even growls. Domesticated ducks actually come from a long line of either Muscovoy ducks or mallard ducks, as you see here. Call ducks are actually the smallest species of domesticated ducks, and they've helped hunters to lure wild ducks down to the pond where the hunters are lying in ways. Number four. Our next clucky animal is only a scratch away. So let's go down on the barn and uh, meet our number four spot. Here today, we have the domesticated chicken, otherwise known as Gallus gallus domesticus. With over 25 billion chickens in the world that even outnumber humans, chickens are the most common and ubiquitous bird in the entire world. They say elephants have good memories, but chickens are also in that category as well. Chickens can remember over 100 faces of humans and animals. What? Chickens were domesticated around 7,000 BC in parts of China, 
India, and Southeast Asia. Chickens, dogs, and pigs were part of the Lapita culture, the first Neolithic culture of Oceania. All domestic chickens come from a single wild chicken known as the red jungle fowl. So why did the chicken cross the road? Well, uh, that joke first appeared in a New York magazine known as the Knickerbocker in 1847. The answer is to get to the other side. Many puns have derived from that joke as well over 150 years. The why did the chicken cross the road was even used as a deterrent to get people to not cross picket lines when workers were striking at a factory. Roosters crow in the morning because their internal clock helps them anticipate the sunrise. This internal clock, which most animals have, including humans, is called a circadian rhythm. Chickens can actually taste saltiness, but like domesticated cats, cannot taste sweetness. Number three. Our next animal on the list goes wee, wee, wee all the way home. Pigs are any animal in the genus Seuss or in the family Seussidae. These animals include anything from pigs, warthogs, peccary, barbarossa, and much more. Pigs are actually very, very intelligent. They are the smartest of all domestic animals, including dogs. Now, according to psychology, they've learned to solve complicated puzzles, have complicated emotions, and they even love to play. Pigs are pachyderms. Pachyderm means thick skin. These guys have very thick skin that protects them from bugs, the sun, and any other weather inclements. And because they have thick skin, they don't sweat like people do. So the term sweating like a pig is actually inaccurate. How these guys cool off on a hot, hot day, unlike this one, is they'll roll around in the mud like you normally see pigs do, or they even go for swims. Pigs are very good swimmers. Pigs are great communicators. They have over 20 different identifiable vocalizations from wooing a mate to saying I am hungry. Baby pigs, otherwise known as piglets, can actually recognize their mother's faces and her voice. Mother pigs will even sing their piglets to sleep just like humans do. Number two. Oh dear, it's time for our number two spot the white-tailed deer. Deer are ruminant mammals in the family Cervidae. Deer can range anywhere as small as the Pudu to as large as a moose. White-tailed deer is actually the Illinois state mammal. A newborn fawn can stand in 20 minutes, walk in one hour, and run a little bit in 24 hours but in five days, they can outrun a human. Deer in general live on every continent except for Antarctica and the red Barbary deer is the only deer species found in Africa. White-tailed antlers are one of the fastest growing tissues known to man. They can grow half an inch per day. According to science technology articles, when a deer loses their antlers each year, they actually grow back in a remarkably similar pattern. The process of antler regeneration and the chemical signals involved are not that completely understood. 
The antlers are used for sexual display and fighting, but sex hormones play a key role, especially in the timing. Light signals from the changing day length are also involved. All deer species have antlers except for the Chinese water deer, which actually has fangs instead of antlers, and all male deer have antlers except for the reindeer, which in this case, both genders have antlers. All of Santa's reindeers are actually female. The deer, like my friend behind me, are actually very dangerous. They've been known to attack hunters and other animals they see as a threat by goring them with their sharp hooves and even their antlers. And number one. It's turkey time. Gobble, gobble. We've come down to our main course, and of course, we're gonna learn about the turkey, or as they're known by their genus, Miliagoras. The dangling piece of flesh on a male turkey's beak is called a snood. There's a rumor stating that the turkey once used to be the national bird of the United States. That's not true. Benjamin Franklin actually went on stating that he found the turkey a much more respectable bird than our present day national bird, the bald eagle. The turkey's wishbone, or the part of the turkey that two family members pull apart and the one with the most gets to make a wish, is actually formed by the fusion of the turkey's two collarbones, also known as a furcular. While the bird flaps their wings, and wild turkeys can actually fly at short bursts of 50 miles an hour, the wishbone connects the point of the muscles. It braces the wing and acts like a spring to store and release energy. Actually, the wishbone does a lot more than possibly grant wishes and cause fights in the family between cousins. But it connects birds to dinosaurs. Scientists and researchers have discovered that the wishbone dates back to over 150 million years ago. Our turkeys today are possibly related to Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptors. Historians can't agree on why turkey is so popular on Thanksgiving, but some speculate that a letter written by a pilgrim named Edward Winslow mentions turkey hunting before the famous first Thanksgiving between the settlers and the Wampanoag Native Americans. I'm so glad that we got to munch on these amazing animal facts. Now, if you want to chow down on more amazing animal facts, then make sure you click our subscribe button and leave a comment saying which animal you want to learn about next. I am very thankful for all my subscribers, commenters, and even my supporters as well. And we even have an Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon if you want to check us out there. So make sure you stay tuned for our next episode of either Kiki's Fun Animal Facts, Kiki's Fun Animal Cam, or even our Christmas episode of Kiki's Fun Animal Countdown. Thank you so much and see you next time.